Okay, the last thing of the evening that I want to do for you um, is to build is to build um, a differential diagnosis for AV blocks. Okay, so there are only four for you to memorize. Okay, so we have first degree and second degree and third degree. Okay. Second degree, Mobitz 1, Mobitz 2. Okay. The other thing you want to do is give yourself some characteristics, which we'll put over here. Um, so the first degree AV block, this looks like a regular rhythm. Okay. Characteristically, the PR interval is long okay and also um, the P wave to QRS ratio is one to one okay one to one P to QRS ratio therefore every P wave has a QRS complex. Okay. What's going down with, uh, gone with Mobitz 1? Well, this is an irregular rhythm. Okay. Here, the PR interval is changing. And um, not every P wave has a QRS complex. Okay? Down here for Mobitz 2, the rhythm can look both irregular and regular. Sorry. Okay, here the PR interval is constant. But again, not every P wave has a QRS complex. Okay? And when I am talking about the regularity of the rhythm, this is by quick observation to see whether or not the ventricular rhythm looks regular to you. Okay? Um, down here for third degree, this is a regular rhythm. Okay? And what you have down here in terms of the PR interval is actually something called AV dissociation. Okay? So this is where P waves and QRS complexes are unrelated. Okay. So here's a little differential diagnosis. Okay, how does this work? All right, let's look at strip 8.71. If you quickly look at this strip from afar, you can see the complexes are spaced out, okay? So this is an irregular rhythm, okay? So right away, you can eliminate Mobitz 1, which is irregular. So you have three remaining, okay? When you look at the strip, you know that first degree will have a P wave for each and every complex, or a complex for each and every P wave. You can see this is not the case. So therefore, I can get rid of this. So now the key is to decide between the two that remain. So Mobitz 2 or third degree. Okay? With Mobitz 2, you're going to have a regular PR interval. It's constant. And with third degree, 
you're going to have AV dissociation. Well, you can quickly check that with a piece of paper on the strip below. And just quickly measure the PR interval that you see. And then have a quick peeker across the whole strip to see whether or not it is constant. And lo and behold, it is. So this is not third degree. And this one is a Mobitz 2, second degree AV block. Okay? We quickly look at another one. Um, coming here to strip 8.72, you can from far away quickly see that that ventricular rhythm looks quite regular. Okay? Again, I can go back to my differential diagnosis. Uh, maybe I'll use a different color. Because it's regular, I can eliminate the irregular rhythm, which is the Mobitz one. Okay? Again, you're looking at the strip. You need to see, for first degree, every P wave has a QRS complex. But quickly looking at P waves, you can see that that's not the case. Go back to your little sheet of paper, and you can eliminate, you can eliminate first degree. Okay? Again, we're deciding between now the remaining two, which is a Mobitz two and a third degree. Again, you know the differential diagnosis. For Mobitz 2, you need a constant PR interval. Well, we can quickly look at the strip and see that we don't have a constant PR interval. The other thing you can do is what I showed in a previous video, which is you can see that there's AV dissociation. You see that P wave in the ST segment? You see this P wave close and touching in or almost on top of the QRS complex. Okay, so that's proof of AV dissociation. So this one, in fact, we can eliminate the Mobitz 2, and it is a third degree AV block. Okay? Um, so if you like it, use it. If you don't like it, it's confusing. Um, you can go back and read the chapter uh, and kind of sort it out in your head about the differences between the, the four types of AV blocks. Okay? Thanks very much.